Okay guys, I'm feeling a little more myself. I've got some makeup on. Don't mind my lovely tan line. You guys saw my vlog from a couple of days ago. You saw that I got this tan line. I'm just gonna embrace it, it's worth it. I think we're gonna do some exploring, maybe go for a drive, check out the mall, let our tummy settle because we just had breakfast. So, we'll see. I'm also wearing my brand new Africa earrings that my mom got me at the drive sanctuary. What do you guys think? I don't normally wear dangly earrings, but I'm kind of feeling them. They kind of dress me up a little, you know? Got a pop school. A lot of stores weren't really open. <laughs> Probably gonna do more shopping tomorrow. We are gonna start Christmas dinner cooking. My mom's gonna start the stuffing, so I'm gonna help her with that. And then I'm gonna start my lentil loaf. Okay, here's what we got for our stuffing. We've got, what kind of mushrooms are these again? Carmini mushrooms. Carrots, two cloves of garlic, some leeks. Usually I have celery, but the celery at the grocery store was looking a little sad. We got walnuts and raisins and then a bunch of spices here four cups of veggie broth and we've got our butter here just gonna want to add that to a pan don't be shy about this because this is adding flavor for our holy trinity here i'm gonna add my carrots leeks and garlic Basically just wanting to cook this until it is translucent. So I just added my vegetable broth. This is just four cups of hot water and two cups of the bouillon cubes. Just what the package called for that my mom dissolved. So we've got our stuffing. My mom just toasted a loaf of bread. So I'm gonna add our mixture to it. And you're gonna wanna just give that a really good mix. Make sure everything is evenly coated. So now is the time to add our walnuts and our mushrooms. And the raisins. You can even um, roast the walnuts if you wanted to to add more flavor. Cover it and cook it on low for three to four hours. Okay, so I've got two cups of veggie broth and I'm adding a cup and a half 
of my red lentils. So you're going to want to cover this and let it boil and then once it starts boiling we're going to simmer it for half an hour. Lentils are still cooking away. I'm just going to use the same pan we used for the stuffing. And add some sunflower oil, um, green pepper, carrots, garlic, and leeks. So I'm just going to add those in. I've also got some walnuts and sunflower seeds for some crunch, along with some more of these mushrooms that we used for our stuffing. Basically just going to mix this until everything is translucent. Done. As you can see, I'm just going to mash them with a potato masher. Okay guys, so this is what your lentils should look like when they're done. I left a couple little chunks in there because I didn't want it to be completely mashed. And texture, you know. I'm just going to eyeball all this. I'm going to put about that much. I'd say like, that's like three tablespoons. Just enough to get it to bind because we're going to turn it into a little some vegan puff pastry that I found at the local grocery store. You guys, make sure your puff pastry is room temperature. I left mine in the fridge, so I just had to microwave it for 30 seconds. Not the end of the world, obviously, but I'm gonna get it warmed up with my hands here. Okay, guys. I I think this is as rolled out as our pastry is going to get. So I'm going to start adding our lentil mixture. It's like wrapping a present. As you guys saw there, I just flipped it upside down so that the seam wasn't showing. Looks a lot cleaner that way. I'm gonna stick it in our little pan here. And then I add some little scores on the top. I'm gonna stick this in the oven at 350 for 20 to 25 minutes until golden brown. My mom's just making the mushroom gravy. We've got some butternut squash and some spuds, my favorite. Our stuffing is looking really good as well. popular brand here. I've never had it before, so I'm gonna do a little taste test, see if it's any good. Okay, I'm going in. Mmm. That's really good. It's a little bit milder than the Daya cheddar style block. I actually preferred it because it doesn't have that weird 
Gaia aftertaste. It's super good. I wish we had this in Canada. Biolife. If you guys have had Biolife, let me know what you guys think of it in the comments. Did all the dishes. I'm probably going to finish my wine. We're going to relax. Maybe watch a Christmas movie. This is probably going up after Christmas, but I just want to hope that all of you guys had an amazing Christmas. I'm heading home tomorrow, so I'll see you guys tomorrow.